Welcome to episode five eighty three. Len Bavatnik, eight lessons. This is an outline of episode five eighty three. Lesson one to lesson four. This is an outline of episode five eighty three. Lesson five to lesson eight. Lesson number one. He is an external oligarch. That's the definition of an oligarch. A Russian oligarch is a businessman of the former Soviet Republic who rapidly accumulated wealth during the era of privatization, in the aftermath of the dissolution of the Soviet Union in the 1990s under Yeltsin. An external oligarch is a businessman outside the Soviet Union. Actually, I've covered. Quite a number of external oligarchs. Here are two: David and Simon Rubin. The Rubin brothers are the richest self-made billionaire in the United Kingdom. They also made their fortune in the former Soviet Union. I don't think they speak Russian. Please watch episode one hundred seven and episode one hundred eight of this channel. As a number two, Len Pavlovnik's partner is Victor Vexelberg. Pavlovnik and Vexelberg have three things in common. First, they were both born in Ukraine. Second, they are both Jewish. Third, they are classmates in the same university, Moscow University of Railroad Engineering. Is a picture of the university. Also, Vexelberg is a close friend of Putin. Lesson three: Secrecy. Like most other oligarchs, he never talks about how he made his huge fortune during the era of privatization. He would not talk about his business, but he would talk about his philanthropy. <laughs> um, well, if there is a formula, it's probably not to do too many things, uh, but um, I, I do try to uh, kind of help a, a, a lot of uh, various people and organizations. Um, the the Jewish kind of um, philanthropy is probably centered in a couple of things. One is Chabad because I think over the years they've proven that um, they're willing to go far and do you know a lot of things other people don't want to do. Lesson four: adaptation. He studied railroad engineering, then he switched to computer science, and then to MBA. In business, he started as a metal trader, then he moved to energy, and then from energy he moved to entertainment, and then from entertainment he moved to real estate. As a number five, he's an opportunist. But there's no coursework on how to become an oligarch, even though he studied at Harvard Business School. As a number six, he's a multitasking workaholic. From 1986 to 1989, he founded his own company, Access Industry, while completing his MBA at Harvard. He must be working a hundred hours a week. Lesson number seven: Three principles of charity of the Bavatnik Family Foundation, which he donated more than seven hundred million dollars. Thirty-three hundred years ago, our forefather Abraham created the model of Jewish charity and kindness by emphasizing three areas of activity: one, feeding the poor; two, inspiring and educating others; three, providing moral support to those who need it. Today, these very same activities describe the work of the Blavatnik Family Foundation. Through its support of Kolel Chabad, lesson number eight: knowledge on Blavatnik scholar. I have three examples here. First, in Tel Aviv University. Then at Oxford University, and then at Harvard University. Second, the Bavarian School of Government. 
at the University of Oxford, one of the most iconic buildings in the world. And finally, the Bavonic Fellowship in Life Science Entrepreneurship at Harvard University. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.